Well, we're back, and, and I, I find this fascinating. And if you have children, these are things that, you know, you could even start as a little hobby, and there's a lot to learn. And I have nicknamed my, or named her, the Butterfly Lady. Faye Legro is here. She's a master gardener, Clemson University. We have a website. We're going to put it up and leave it there. And Babette Button is here, and she is president of the Master Gardeners. And I'm Thank you so much. My We've pleasure. hardly spoken to that, you. There's no, so she's much the one, going on. No, no, no. They have does, all the information. Does the Master Gardener, do they have a program where people can learn this? I, or do you teach it? I have just developed a PowerPoint presentation okay. where I'll be going out to clubs and groups and, and schools, churches and schools and, schools. and, and uh, wherever That's I'm asked wonderful. to go. This is important for people to know because we certainly don't want... Look uh, at this him. This one Here is he all is. excited. He's all excited. He likes the lights. Yeah. Now, is that a monarch? Yes, they're all monarchs. That's my favorite, um, and I guess I'm partial to them because they're having right. such a how, hard time. After you go through all of this, and this is how you could... You just put a towel paper and have it moist, and what are these leaves? Well, this is milkweed, and this all is right. what I do when I'm collecting eggs... Um, I take it doesn't have to be an expensive. This is just uh, quite frankly, it's a yeah. and uh, you've got little a holes salad bowl just that, so air can get in there. Right, it's a, it's a salad yeah. bowl that we got from some restaurant uh, takeout. Oh, here's and somebody. He's he's there. That's what they do when they need to molt. They usually climb to the top. They shed the skin. Sometimes they actually eat the can skin. Can you see him? He's very tiny. Okay. But I will take my, my towel and I will dampen it ever so slightly. This one is probably a little bit over so. But um, I will take my leaves and uh, this is milkweed because I okay. know I'm going to be looking for monarchs. And that's There's one right there. There's, there's a little. Yes. Now what is he? That's a monarch. Okay. So he um, will become a butterfly. Right. And he will hatch and spread these gorgeous wings. How yeah. long do they live once they become a butterfly? They live from two to six weeks. You're kidding. No, that's all. Now, that's, uh, that's the, the, uh, um, the migration north that lives two to six weeks. Um, what they, what they do, they leave, they leave Mexico in the spring, and they will fly battered as they are because they've been clinging to this oil fir tree in Mexico and um, they will come ashore in the states either oh, in um, here uh, I closed Texas, it up Louisiana in that area and then they will mate and leave eggs there and then they die oh. and then it takes uh, three to four generations of uh, monarchs to get to Canada. They fly all the way to Canada. It's amazing. Yeah. And what is in here? What is this? Well, this is... Uh, this is not a monarch, but no, show it's not people. A monarch. You can do this with other butterflies, too. Right. Look this at this. Is a oh, my, they're busy. Fritillary. And um, their host plant is actually the passion vine. Okay. And what I've done here is just um, I took a clipping and I took a paper towel and I wrapped it... Um, around the end of it to keep it moist and I put a, um, a aluminum foil around it. That's fascinating. But you can also use a, um, a floral pick. Okay. Look at all stick. that on there. Look how they've eaten the leaves. Oh, they're very happy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they've had a nice lunch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but okay. it depends on what your interest is. If you're interested in all butterflies, then you have... Um, yeah. You, you can, did I do that all right? Yeah, okay. that was just fine. All right, okay. But yeah, and then, then the, uh, the migrating uh, south, they leave the north, either Canada or the northern states, Minnesota, um, wherever they are in the north, and then they fly, and it's only one generation. When they leave up north, they have one goal in mind, and that is to get to, to Mexico. They don't stop to eat because they've stored food. Well, don't they? How, don't they stop in South Carolina? <laughs> well, I hope they do, and I hope they leave me a lot of eggs. <laughs> They're like a lot of us. They don't like cold weather either. No. And this, and this, you just have you brought for the show to put the flowers in. I did. And and there are several butterflies in there. And of course, here's one right here, right there. You see him? See him? Yes. Yeah. The, this is lantana. This is one of their favorite nectaring plants. However, um, they are not interested. I mean, their well, main goal is to All right, Faye, are there certain plants, 
and not even if you don't want to raise butterflies, but are there certain plants that you can put in your yard or your garden or whatever that attracts Absolutely. butterflies? Absolutely. Uh, monarchs are just like any other butterfly. They like the same nectar. Okay. Uh, you can plant, um, lantana is my favorite to use for them, but butterfly bush is another. Okay. Um, Phlox, Leatris, So you're not talking expensive, way out, exotic Absolutely things, no. no. Okay. Well, we have most of these at the butterfly at our, our um, uh, plant sale in the spring. All right. Of course, that isn't until May, but, and we'll bring you more information on that when it gets nearer to the time. But, but right now, if you want more information on the Master Gardeners or the Butterfly Program, or maybe you have a class at school and you would like to have this unique person come and with talk with your children go to that website and I'll keep it here if you don't get it but we need we need it seems to me what you master gardeners stand for which is paying attention to God's world and, and the beauty that's all around us and we don't sometimes even take time to look at it Today is one of 33 speakers with our Speakers Bureau. Okay. We have 113 topics that not only butterflies, but about anything they want to know, we have speakers that will go out to and all these organizations. gardening and planting yes. and harvesting and whatever. Weeds and container gardening, vegetable gardening, and birds. Of course, they, they do some fabulous Christmas wreaths. <laughs> <laughs> that too. Yeah. yeah. And you have this plant sale, which is only once a year. Yes. And so you don't plants. have a lot of fundraisers through the year. No, that's our that. main fundraiser. Okay. Right. And if somebody wants to become a master gardener. If they go to that website. They'll find out. Yes. And you, Clemson University has yes. been the Yes, that's who underpinning. The, yes, that's who trains us. And does it take a long time? 17 <gasps> weeks. Okay. About three and a half hours for 17 weeks. One day, one day a week. One day a week. Mm -hmm. And then you have that knowledge for the rest of your life. And then you have a big manual that you get to take away. Yeah. And then you can give back to Absolutely. the community you live that's in. That's we are. We're volunteer educational organizations. It's just beautiful. It's a wonderful thing. And so I, what else can we... The monarch is the one you're concerned about. But there are it lots is. of butterflies out there. That's are right. they all endangered? Well, they're all fewer. Um, what we're doing... Um, as um, the public is, um, we're not we're not educated enough about what is happening with them. Number one, we're not aware, and that's what I'm trying to do is make folks aware that we need to be uh, more concerned about our, our uh, insects, uh, whether they're beneficial or not. Um, you know, that's that's nature. Well, I worry and, about all these sprays and all these well, things they spray around to kill the weeds and of course if you have a nice yard you don't want it full of weeds I understand that right but but it, there's it's two sides well um, I have to admit in the past I've been guilty of it um, but I, you know since I've been concerned with this and and I've become aware of what it's doing because the sprays, do, they're not particular. I mean, they also, they kill the bad bugs, but yeah, they also but they kill, kill the, the good, good bugs. Yeah. And, um, and some but, of it can contaminate the water that we live exactly, on. Exactly, exactly. So. But there's other things uh, with the monarchs. There's illegal logging in Mexico where they go to, um, they cling to these trees, the Oriamil fir trees uh, in Mexico for the winter, and uh, there's people cutting them down. Some of them with the butterflies mm. on them. Oh my! Well, and and um, we've extreme all got weather to get conditions. Smart. Yeah, we do. You're right. Exactly. It's it's something that we need to uh, educate ourselves and and uh, learn the life cycles. That's what's important because you just don't know. Um, I mean, if you see a caterpillar, you you have to know whether it's a good bug or a bad insect. And well, you, most of us don't really like caterpillars, but from now on, <laughs> I think I'll change my mind. Yeah, you have to re do some research and find out what it is because, I mean, you could destroy it and not have any idea of what you've done. But I have to point out, we had a, uh, during the break, we had a uh, black swallowtail in this taller uh, mm -hmm. pop up here that emerged. Oh, he's up he's there. At the top. Yeah. He's at the very top. He's drying. He likes the lights. Yeah, yeah. He's at the very top up there. Yeah. But if you want to learn more or if you have children or you have classes and you'd like, Faye would be uh, 
happy to hear from you and if, and the master gardeners as well because they have all these programs that we sometimes don't take advantage of that's what and, we're about is education so yeah, they can yeah. contact and you us have and a great outreach we do to many many people because yes, once you have learned these things you have them for the rest of your life mm -hmm. and you can share with others and i'm thinking how wonderful this is for children to learn yeah. to appreciate yeah, they, they're just in awe of it. I have kids in the neighborhood that come over and... Uh, and watch the butterflies. I've had them help me release them. <laughs> and Aww. they're just amazed with it. Um, you know, they, they just can't seem to get enough of it. Well, and you can have certain plants and all in your yard to attract butterflies. Now, we have a website, and I hope people got it, but I did Clemson University Master Gardeners, and it's called Master Gardener, or Master G-A-R-D, E N E R, and does that have an S on it? No, just no. go to this. And it's G G M G A dot org, and I'll keep it here. And we all need to get on the bandwagon and take care of God's world. We'll see you next. Time.